What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, what is going on? I welcome you to the channel. If you haven't subscribed already, this would be a great time to hit that subscribe button down below. If you already are, I really appreciate you as always. It is a beautiful day outside. I've got the sun shining bright, have my beach cart out, and some beach fishing stuff. And we're gonna head out and do some simple surf fishing. The weather's actually nice. It's been raining like crazy for the past freaking week and a half so i don't know what the water is going to look like because a lot of that fresh water washes out of our bays and river systems into the gulfs it may dirty it up but we do have yellow flags so i'm going to get out on the beach get set up and we'll get to some fishing it is nice outside today water's a tannic brown color so it's not perfect green but we got a plethora of baits and we're going to try our luck i may try to get some sand fleas right here real quick by the pier see if i can get some i got a sand flea rake with me usually they like to hang out around places like this let's find out nothing nothing on that one i'm just going to do a few scoops i'm not going to do nothing too crazy if i don't find them i don't find them One more scoop. Huh. Last scoop before I move on. Oh, I got one. Okay. Well, there's another small one in there. But I got a really nice sand flea, so heck yeah. There's one. Watch how they can bury down in the sand. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. They can bury in the sand quick. Pretty great bait. I'm gonna try to see if I can get some more. Last scoop and then I'm gonna head back and start fishing. Oh, just got one. It wasn't a big colony, but man, it's one at least. Remember, take the trash with you as much as you can. Oh, I got my two rod holders because I only brought two rods. That's really the maximum I actually fish with out in the surf. It's easy to keep up with. We're running about maybe 40 to 50 feet apart here. Okay, I've got one in. Let me go get the other one in here. Got that one in. I got both my rod holders in. Give me some fish bites and my pompano rigs tied up. And we'll get to fishing. I'm gonna take me some fish bites easy shrimp. This is a pink one and it is the fast acting one. So that means it dissolves a lot faster, especially in this warmer water. But I like fish bites. Doesn't stink your hands up. You can find it practically anywhere. And they have a variety of different flavors, colors, and then type of bait. Now I'm gonna be using a combination of shrimp and fish bites. I have a Bama saltwater pompano rig tied on in this orange and yellow color i usually do pretty well it's just a float a bead and a one alt hook with 20 pound fluorocarbon and it's two of those come down to a clip and i'm using a three ounce pyramid weight because there is a little bit of chop and then on my other setup i just have a single drop bama saltwater pump on a rig it's just a swivel 20 pound fluorocarbon with one dropper loop here with a float a bead and then a size one owner kale hook coming down to a clip and then another three ounce pyramid weight. So I'm gonna take the sand flea and this thinner wire owner hook, go through the bottom and come out the top of the shell just one time. You wanna be careful not to crack it too much. And that's how you hook a sand flea. I am gonna put a little bit of piece of fish bites on there just to enhance the color on it and get their attention. But we're gonna toss this out here and see what we can find with the sand flea. Then the other setup, the double drop rig, I'll be using the fish bites and the shrimp. But I'm throwing this on a Shimano Stratic 5000 XG 20 pound Yozuri Super Braid and a Shimano Speedmaster nine foot medium moderate fast action surf rod. So I want to cast this out and let's see if we can get on something. Water's just dingy. Maybe we can get on a nice red though. Woo, that casts like a dream. I just purchased this rod from Sam's Tackle over in Orange Beach and man, it casts like a dream. I've had the reel. But this rod, I was looking for a different surf rod, and man, it does pretty good. I'm gonna set in the rod holder and adjust our drag here. So if something big takes it, it's not gonna take our whole rod with us. And that rod is set. So I'm gonna take me a piece of dead shrimp, and then all I did was pinch it in half. All right, both my hooks have a piece of shrimp on. I'm gonna take a piece of fish bite. Really simple. There we go. Just like that on both hooks. So we'll cast this out. I'm throwing this setup on my Vanstall 150X series, 30 pound Yozuri Super Braid. And then this is my custom Rain Shadow 1087 rod. I've had this setup for a long time. It has absolutely slayed some fish. So we're gonna cast the shrimp and fish bites out here and hopefully we can get into some fish. I'm not gonna do too far on that one. 
And then same thing with the drag. You want to set your drag fairly loose to where if something big hits it, it's not taking your entire setup. Oh, that was a good hit. Y'all see that? Come on. All right. Literally instantly got something. Come on. Let's find out what it is. Dang, pulling pretty hard. Literally instant. As soon as it went in the water, it was getting smacked. So let's see what they are. If I was to take a guess, I would say a bunch of hardtails out there, but we will find out. Ah, ladyfish. That didn't take long. It's pretty fun though. That's actually really good cut bait. So I am going to keep that ladyfish and use it as cut bait out in the surf. So I'm going to go throw this ladyfish in my cooler. This is a skipjack or a ladyfish, poor man's tarpon. Not really good table fare, but excellent bait for big fish. If I'm gonna bait my double drop rig up with the same bait here, just a piece of shrimp and then the fish bites is still good. So this is the one that had the sand flea on it. I think something ate the sand flea. Let's see, we'll bring it in and find out. Well, I have something. Oh man, that's not what I wanted. This is a hard head catfish. Not really what I'm after, but they come with the territory. And what I mean is they come with the dirty water. There you go, buddy take this ladyfish and cut it into smaller pieces and use this cut bait and that's all you need is a little bitty piece like that it's excellent redfish bait big bluefish bait i'm gonna hook this on the single drop rig with the stratic and maybe we can get something big all right i got this piece of cut ladyfish just gonna hook it through one time their skin's pretty tough so that's all you need to do now if i get a big bluefish there is a chance of getting cut off because this is only 20 pound fluorocarbon but i don't feel like retying right now with this cut bait usually i like to use 40 pound fluoro do a decent little cast and i hope we can get a big old redfish that would be awesome heck even some big bluefish would be cool just something big <laughs> well that one's soaking i'm gonna cast a double drop pump and a rig out oh cut bait rods going off Cut bait rods going off. Oh, <laughs> what do I got? Oh man, I got something on the cut bait rod. <laughs> ah, woo, heavy. There we go. Come on, let's see what you are. That is awesome. I was over there messing with the shrimp rod on the pompano rig, and then my ladyfish. I noticed the rod was bent over sideways. Let's see what I got. This is awesome. If it's a big one. Ah. Oh, it did not like being close to the bank. It's only 20 pound fluoro, so whatever it is, if it has teeth, I don't think I'll be able to get it in, but find out. It's coming though. Oh, stingray? I think it's a stingray. Need a good wave to push it up. There we go. It's a decent sized stingray. That would be cool to do a stingray catch and cook. If you want to see one, drop a comment down below and next time I catch one, we'll do one. But I'm gonna let this one go for now. But check that out, on the cut bait. That's the biggest part you gotta watch for. Right here, you can touch all day. It's gonna be okay. But their barb is right there, pretty much in the center of their tail. And that's what you don't want going in you. But we're gonna get this one released here. I'm gonna get this hook out of them. And we're gonna get you back in the water. So I got the hook out. Check out his eyes. These things are so cool. We're gonna get you back. There you go, swim away, buddy. <laughs> and he's gone. So like I was saying, if y'all wanna see a stingray catch and cook, leave some comments down below. If I get enough comments or enough people that want me to do it, then I'll come out here and try to get a stingray. We'll go cook it up. They're not bad to eat if you prepare them the right way. But like I said, if I get enough comments, we'll do a stingray catch and cook on the channel. So I did get to break in the new Shimano Speedmaster surf rod I bought this morning. So I've already caught fish on my Shimano Stratic 5000. But uh, like I said, I went this morning to Sam Payton Tackle picked up the Speedmaster and already got to break it in. That was an awesome fight. It's an incredibly light surf setup. Uh, you can cast this thing all day and I'm casting a three ounce weight, no problem. And just got that Stingray in. That is a very fun and light setup to use. That's still very capable of handling some big fish. My single drop rig did get a little messed up after that Stingray. I'm gonna tie on a Carolina rig or a fish finder rig with the same weight and cast out another piece of cut bait. So I just tied up a simple fish finder rig I got a three ounce pyramid weight on a sinker slide on my main line here, coming to a big barrel swivel. Now normally you can put a bead in between that slide and that swivel, but it's not really slamming any knots because of the size of that swivel, so I'll be okay. 
Now I have some 40 pound Yazuri fluorocarbon coming to a four alt circle hook here. This is a snailed knot, pretty easy to do. There's a lot of videos online how to do it. But that's a simple fish finder rig. And I'm gonna throw a chunk of cut bait on here. Now I've got another chunk of ladyfish here, not just a strip, but a whole chunk. And this is fresh cut bait. You can't get any fresher than cut bait that you catch yourself. Okay, let's get this cut bait out. Now I'm not even gonna bother with the shrimp right now. Because if I get in a big fish, I want to just primarily focus on this rod. There we go. Good cast. Okay, our cut bait rod is set. Get smacked. Oh, I got it. Oh, I, got it. I, I got whatever it is. Come on. What do I got? What do I got? Come on. Oh, man. This is fun on the cut bait that's a great way to break in a new rod i tell you that mm. i feel a little more confident being on the bigger leader and bigger hook so let's find out what you are bluefish that's a good bluefish too Woo! check out the size of this bluefish dang that's a big one check out this stud bluefish they have some serious teeth to them but they are one of the hardest fighters pound for pound in my opinion. A lot of people eat them, I, I choose not to. They're just really oily, but you can keep these as table fare, but he's gonna go back. What a big old pretty bluefish. I'm sure there's water all over my lens, but I wanna get this fish back since I'm not keeping them. There you go, buddy. Swim back and he's gone. Well, that was fun. I enjoy catching those big bluefish like that. Boom. <laughs> Solid cast. Set the drag and now it's time to wait again. Over there trying to find something in my tackle bag. Is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. Ah, come on. Come on, get in. Man, this just instant action with this ladyfish. You don't have to wait very long. Right, tying that drag down just a hair. I like to keep it loose in the rod holder and then tying it just a little bit. Once I start fighting the fish, I know it's on. Oh, it might be another blue fish. Yeah, that's another big blue. Another stud blue fish. Come on. Let's try and get in without it cutting me off. So one advantage of using circle hooks is you can get away with a little bit lighter leader. Boom. Look at the size of that blue fish, dude. Another nice blue fish. I got my circle hook back, so I'm going to toss this one back. So, But this will be a uh, really good one to keep. It's got a lot of meat on it, but we're going to let him swim away and go back home. There you go, buddy. Go back. And he swam away. All right, cool. And I got my hook back with that circle hook. My leader's a little frayed right there, so I am going to cut it off and retie and then get a fresh piece of bait on. All right, I got another piece of fresh cut bait. I'm going to toss it out in this surf and see what we can find. This is very fun. It's actually nice to see the sun again. It's been freaking raining for the entire week, over a week here. Because I won a tropical storm slash hurricane that went over Texas and then came across the entire southeast portion of the United States. And we got a lot of those rain bands. There we go. On the circle hook, you don't have to do a hard hook set, but this is a pretty hard fighting fish. Golly. Ah, oh, what do I have? Let's see. If this is a bluefish, it is a stud bluefish. Get in here. Another big old bluefish. Dang, they like the cut bait. <laughs> That's awesome. They fight so hard. That is so fun. A pair of needle nose pliers is a necessity, but there we go. Got another nice bluefish. I'm gonna let him go. So got my circle hook back, which is good, but they fight so hard. That was on that fresh ladyfish cut bait. Oh, there we go. <laughs> he gone. The reason I like these fish finder rigs with the sinker slide versus having your weight on the very bottom when using cut bait is if you get a big fish and a big piece of cut bait, you want that fish to be able to eat it all the way and not just come and mouth it. Your weight being able to slide allows that fish to take line, take line, take line without feeling the resistance of the weight. So they feel a little bit of resistance from the drag, but if you properly adjust your drag a little bit lighter like I do, you see I'm pretty successful with those bluefish and you can use this rig for pretty much anything that'll eat cut bait on the surf. This is just a four alt circle hook and then 40 pound Yazuri fluorocarbon that little black barrel swivel and then a black sinker slide the key is black hardware if you start using gold or silver they're going to come and target your swivel instead of your bait so that was a really fun and exciting fishing trip i appreciate you for hanging in there as we catch some pretty fun fighting fish 
uh, it's very relaxing to get out on the beach and just do some simple fishing. But if you haven't subscribed already, this will be an excellent time at the end of this video. Hit that subscribe button down below so you can keep up with some great fun content like this. I will see you on the next video. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us and we'll see you later.